Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. What's up, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. We're going for Zuckus. Or unless you're still stuck in 1980 with the action figure mistake, you probably call him 4LOM or 4LOM. But um, to me, he's Zuckus. Zuckus is not a droid. And, uh, yeah, this is a cool one. This is probably the hardest one to find out of the lot, to be honest. I'm having to pay a little bit more to find this one, just to have him in the collection. Because I was really, really hunting high and low and uh, wasn't finding this one very easy to get. So eventually I had to bite the bullet and just pay that sort of extra 10 to 15 bucks, whatever it cost me to get it. Um, I can't actually remember how much I paid for it. I just remember paying more than uh, most Power of the Force figures are worth. So, but it's all good. I only had to do it once. Got him now. And yeah, I'm a I'm a Zuckus fan. I think there's been some really good Zuckus figures over the years. The Vintage Collection One, still definitely up there as probably the best. Um, Black Black Series has done Black Series has done a really good for LOM and Zuckus. Um, both are fantastic. And then they did the uh, Kenner style repaints of them uh, for the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, which is a cool pack. It wasn't totally necessary, but it was cool sort of see those black series six inch figures in their uh vintage style colors whereas zuckus was certainly a little bit more of a creamy color and they sort of met in the middle with this one going for a sort of darker brown with a lighter wash over the top giving that appeal of sort of nice textured sculpt on that on that outfit there Sort of soft plastic cape, so it looks really good. Got the uh, blaster there, which I've had to use a little little tie to keep it in his hand because it's just falling out. Uh, underneath, no idea what that is, but I'd say uh, Hasbro had a little bit of a free light, free roam license with that to sort of come up with whatever they wanted. Uh, particularly for this alien under whether that's his body or who knows and uh, yeah just some pretty simple sort of leg armor there which looks cool head sculpt's pretty nice and this these two this is Zuckus and Forlom of uh you know they've had a, they've had their share of adventures over the years in the expanded universe. Some cool stuff, some not so cool stuff. But yeah, it'd be cool to see more of them coming up in some form or another, whether they uh, make an appearance in Book of Boba Fett, some flashbacks, or present, present Boba Fett times. That either would be cool. Whether they survived the whole dealings with Jabba the Hutt, who knows? Time will tell whether we get some more Forlom and Zuckus. I'd love to sort of see, like I said, with the IG-88, and I'd say this for all the bounty hunters too, including 4LOM and Bosk. Love to sort of see them a little bit more action than we've seen them, particularly in live action. We've seen a little bit of them in uh, Clone Wars, um, in Bosk and Boba Fett and Dengar. But to see a little bit more of this guy would be very, very cool. So I'd love to hear what you, you guys think about Zuckus. This Power of the Force action figure, or the character itself, let me know. Drop a comment below. Appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be sweet as. And uh, hit that subscribe button, because I do Power of the Force Fridays every Friday. Almost every Friday. <laughs> Almost. Um, 
But yeah, just sort of sharing my nostalgia for the figures that I grew up with in my childhood and I'm sort of going through and recollecting them all now. And hopes that one day I can complete that Power of the Force collection. I always wanted as a kid. So thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the Force be with you always.